Hi Rams fans, both basketball teams wrapped up their weeks at the Siegel Center here this weekend, both against Northeastern. Coming up, we'll tell you how the men's team received a big boost from both a freshman and a junior this week. Also, the women's game just went final. We have all the highlights next. The Weekly Rewind starts now. Welcome to another presentation of Rams Review, the best Rams sports show, period. It's time for the Weekly Rewind. Here's Tommy Lopez. The men's basketball team traveled to Williamsburg this week, where they had lost by one point last season. The Tribe, though, had lost their past seven games going into this week's contest, and the men from VCU coming off a dominating win over UNC Wilmington. The Rams hoping to have a better result this year at Kaplan Arena. VCU wearing the road black Wednesday before returning to the Siegel Center this weekend. Plenty of Rams faithful in attendance as VCU fans almost outnumbering the home crowd. Brandon Razell out two to four weeks after injuring his hand in practice earlier in the week. And we'll see how that affects the Rams offense. We'll start off first half. Jamie Skeen pounds Marcus Kitts inside. Rams go up two to nothing. Later, Darius Theus, he finds Joey Rodriguez open on the wing. Then VCU creates offense from defense. Theus picks Brandon Britt's pocket and finds Bradford Burgess. It's 9-0 early. William & Mary gets its first points here as Kitt slams it home six minutes in. Rob Brandenburg answers back, however, with his first points of the game. Then nine minutes in, Skeen back to it. Layup good. It's a 13-point game as Skeen puts up 15, grabs 12 rebounds on the night. The Rams' D was exceptional for the game, forcing 19 turnovers, including Skeen's block here. Then, 7.30 left first half now. Theus finds Skeen cross-court, and the forward buries it, making it 20-6. After William & Mary chips away at the lead, Theus scores two of his seven points. Then, Burgess sinks this three with 3.30 left first half. The Tribe will go on a 5-1 run to end the half. That cuts the lead to under double digits. It's 29-20 at the break. Ed Nixon starts off the second stanza with a triple, though it was his only field goal of the game. Rodriguez here drives inside. His layup is good, two of his 11 points for the night. With 12.45 remaining, Brandenburg just takes over. Three ball here, then a little move inside for two more. The freshman had 19 second half points, 22 on the night. Remember, no Brandon Razell in this one. He's out for the next couple of weeks. Rob's layup here makes it 50 to 39 with nine minutes to go. John Mark Ludwig hits this three from the left wing, cutting the Rams lead to nine. Right back comes Skeen. Makes the basket as Kitts is called for the personal, and VCU would control the game from there. Theus here diving on the ground, one of his five steals. Rodriguez then nails the three. The lead extends to 14 with seven to play. Brandenburg, one more time. He scores seven of VCU's final 10 points. Rams run away with this one, 70 to 52 the final. In the past two years, only one team has been able to defeat the VCU men's basketball team here at the Siegel Center. Northeastern has downed the Rams in each of the last two years. VCU trying to change that trend here on Saturday. VCU returning home, riding a three-game winning streak. The Huskies came into town Saturday 0-5 in the CAA, but with the 36th toughest schedule in the country. Jonathan Lee driving inside early. Here he dishes to Curry Black, who throws down the dunk. Rams answering though, Skeen finds a cutting Burgess, and we're tied at two, two minutes in. Skeen shows his defensive skills, then VCU goes inside to the big man, the senior puts the Rams on top. Next, Nixon gets the block, Rodriguez grabs the loose ball, lobs ahead to Burgess, and Brad slams it down. And Burgess starting to get going here, he knocks down this three, and the Rams jump out to a 9-2 lead five minutes in. Later, the Husky star Chasen Allen skies for the dunk, he falls down, but Northeastern cuts the margin to two. Ten minutes in now, Burgess buries another triple, and the Rams push the lead to ten. The Huskies not letting VCU run away with it here. Alex Harris finds the rock after the steal. He converts the layup. Here, five minutes left, first half. Brandenburg bombs from distance. The Rams take their largest lead of the game at 13. Huskies chip away at the margin. The score, 30-22 to at the break. Early second half, Allen finds space down low. Skeen, however, he enters at the other end. Then 18 to play, Rodriguez at the top of the key as the Rams running much of their offense through Skeen at this point. The forward goes back to Joey and J-Rod nails the three. But Northeastern is hanging tough. 
Joel Smith hits a three here. Then Ryan Pearson, he's off the mark, but Harris follows the miss, and it's a four-point game, 39 to 35. Now with 13 to go, Rodriguez out to Nixon, Ed drains the tray, but Huskies coming back, Smith hits a three, it's a two-point game with 11 minutes remaining, Rams feeling it here, they need to get something going, back on the other end, Brandenburg, basket and the foul, then Burgess, another basket from him, Rams with some breathing room now, up seven. Northeastern proved they could hit tough shots all night long, Allen with another jumper, it's 55-52 with seven to go. Rams defense paying dividends. Burgess stuffs Allen here. Then it's a three-point game, three minutes to go, when Nixon nails the triple, and that was the last straw for Northeastern. Burgess swats Harris's shot. Then, late, game out of reach, Burgess, bang. There is the exclamation point. Rams take it 73-64. to After the game, players and coaches share their thoughts. Last year, we had a lot of games where we were up early and halftime of like 12 and other team make a run and we didn't know how to respond to that and we ended up losing those games. But now we're a year mature, we're more base and everything's going better. Because Northeast, they have a good team. They're making a lot of tough shots. So we just had to stick with it and, and just keep our discipline on defense and make sure we box out and, and, and rebound them. And we did that. Yeah, I, I was really happy about the way our guys battled and, and, and fought in this game. It was somewhat of a strange game in that Northeastern kept making shots and uh, they wouldn't go away. And that's a very good Northeastern team. They're going to win a lot of games in the league. They, they just happen to have played a very tough CAA schedule so far. We go inside the numbers. Burgess leads all scorers with 26 in this one, his fourth 20-point game of the season. Skiing contributes 18. It's the Rams' 19th straight home win. They finally get the best of the Huskies at the Siegel Center. Defense has been a key part of this four-game winning streak for VCU, the Rams holding opponents to an average 57 points. If you weren't familiar with Rob Brandenburg, well, now you are. Seven points against the Huskies, but that William & Mary game was a breakout game of sorts for the freshman, at least offensively. He led VCU with 22 points. Brandenburg only averaging 5.3 points per game on the season, but shooting over 46%. Burgess had 18 at halftime on Saturday. He finished with 26. The junior is averaging over 14 points per game, shooting over 52% for the season. Burgess averaged just over 10 points per game last year. Taking a look at the updated conference standings, ODU defeating Hofstra, so three teams are now tied for first at 5-1. VCU will try to stay at top of the CAA standings as Georgia State rolls into Richmond on Wednesday. The Panthers beat the Rams in Atlanta on January 3rd. Here's Coach Smart on the matchup. Uh, you know, Georgia State's had a really good season, and particularly in CAA play. They've been very, very good. Uh, but, you know, so they're not going to come in and just give us the game. But our guys, I think there's going to be a level of motivation. Uh, they're going to come in here talking some trash, I'm sure. And our guys just got to decide that it ain't, it ain't happening on our home floor. The women's basketball team returned home here to the Siegel Center today, coming off a road loss against Towson. Northeastern in town for today's contest, and VCU had plenty of offense early. The Rams in a fight to stay in the top half of the CAA standings, hoping to pick up their fourth conference win against the Huskies. Early first half, Jennifer Lane finds Andrea Barber, who hits the jump shot. Then Barber again, this time following the miss from Courtney Hurt. VCU goes up 6 to nothing. Three minutes in, now Hurt nails the jumper. Then Sonia Johnson gets into the act. Her put back here is good. Then in transition, Johnson, basket is good, plus the foul. Sophomore finishes with 12. Rams out in front now, 12 to three, four minutes in. 10 to play, first half, and Lane, seven assists on the day. Here she tries a three, she hits, it's 24 to 11. Later, Hurt inside, her basket is good. Then Barber makes a cut to the basket. VCU is up 17 with seven minutes to go, first half. Now Barber, she finds Johnson inside, her layup falls. Rams lead by 23 near the end of the first half. After the break, the Rams able to relax a little. They still hold on to the lead. Barber's jumper is good here. The transfer nets a VCU career high 17 points. She also dishes out six assists. Later, Hurt hits from the same spot. Rams up 58 to 40 with nine minutes remaining. Northeastern can't chip away at the lead. The Rams with their eighth straight win over the Huskies. 79 to 58 is the final. 
Here's head coach Beth Cunningham. Certainly we weren't pleased with the way that we played up at Towson. Um, every game is so critical in conference play and you know, it was disappointing to go up there and have the kind of the performance we did. But I thought our kids did a great job responding and how we came in today. And to me that was going to be our biggest challenge. Like how are we going to respond from that game um, you know, up at Towson. And I thought our kids came out, uh, might have played one of the best uh, first 20 minutes we've played all season. Courtney Hurt finishes with 19 points and 13 rebounds. Here's the junior after the win. We came out a little sluggish, you know, the first couple of minutes of the game, but, you know, they hit us, then we came back, and we started getting easy buckets in transition, and, you know, that's what, you know, helped us upstart the game, you know, defending and rebounding, two keys coming into the game, and it helped. Courtney Hurt just keeps on bringing the pain. Her NCAA leading 14th double-double of the season this afternoon. She needs just four more to tie VCU's single-season record. She leads the nation in rebounds and is still second in the country in scoring. Coach Cunningham and the women's basketball team will be on the road at ODU on Thursday. The men return home here to the Siegel Center Wednesday. That'll be a 7.30 tip-off against Georgia State. For Rams Review, I'm Tommy Lopez.